two gaskets in this in this quick shot. You got a uh, a nozzle gasket and then you got a back gasket. So if you call in on a lot of this gasket right here, I don't I don't really have to change this. The only time you're going to change this gasket is if you get some air air around the nozzle. But I've sh I don't know I've shot thousands of feet of liner and never had to change this this inside nozzle um, gasket. But in here, if you guys want to come here? I'll show you. So this is your gasket here. You'll always get, um, this is really the main gasket that we, for the quick shot. When you order it and it's brand new, you'll, it'll always be cut out to three inch. You see these little holes? Mm -hmm. So you got three, four, six, and eight inch. So this gun will do two to eight inch pipe. But, uh, but when you get it, it's gonna be, it's gonna be cut out here. So if we're gonna shoot, if you're gonna shoot four inch liner, have to cut it out to the next option and then six inch and then eight inch. You have to have a gasket to each size. Yeah, yeah. So that's your main gasket. Now, inside this thing, we call it the reason why this thing is a shooter, yeah, a continuous shooter, because is this, this, this right here is a venturi. This right here that we built in here, in, inside this thing is a venturi, and that venturi. When you introduce air, the air goes flows forward, and that's where it's uh, pulling that liner in, and that's where you can do, you can do that, a continuous shot. Where the other systems out there, those big old tanks, those drums, it's a pressurized vessel. So whatever you can fit into that drum, then you air you pressurize that drum, and that that amount of line, uh, volume of air will push that liner only whatever that drum can hold. Yeah, you understand what I'm saying? So yeah. where this is. We got the venturi in it, just yeah, constant pressure. Yeah. All right. So there's your gasket, your main gasket. Then you got another gasket. This is then you got a plate. These are this is called a stiffener plate. Just this one place is different place. So you got this is four inch. We're gonna shoot some four inch. So you should have if you have a six inch nozzle or six inch kit, you have six inch and you have eight inch. We make four, six, and eight, and we make three, three inch as well. So if you're gonna shoot that liner, you gotta have make sure that you uh, put the the right or the, the right plate. So it just gets tightened down, and then this is your main cradle plate. So when you put this on, I want you guys to be aware, because a lot of guys don't do this, you don't have to over crank this, okay? Um, just snug, right? You just want it snug, don't, don't. Um, Make it like super snug. Yeah, because what happens is when you pressurize this vessel, this 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 um, shooter, you're having, it's gonna flex this. And if you over tighten this, you're gonna end up bowing this cradle. Okay, so you just, just need it snug, that's all you gotta do. And should be there. And you want to have a tight fit. So when I say a tight fit is where you can't slide the credit card inside this. If you can slide your credit card in here, you're not sealed. Okay. This 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 gasket is not sealed onto this plate. So either the stiffener plate's not on, or this is not on, you know, flushed, or the cradle is warped. If the cradle is warped, then you're gonna have to send that back into me and we're gonna have to get a redone. Okay? You'll still be able to shoot liners. It's just you're gonna have a lot of air leak here and then when it's when it's self-feeding and it's not self-feeding the liner or the cowl tube, then you don't have a good seal. Alright? So that's that. Then these are bats. You'll have bats, and we call it. Uh, so these are the bats. We have four inch different sizes for different types of liner. Now, 
I'm going to show you. The bats go in, and the reason why they go in is because when you push this, when you lay this all the way down, go all the way over. If you look down, you see how it opens up that gasket. Yeah. So that amount, that opening is for the liner. When you're shooting cal tube, and this is gets pushed all the way in. That's when you shoot liner. When you shoot cal tube, you go to the first notch. There's another notch. You'll see if there's like a little lip. See that notch right there? Okay. So you see how the bats are bowed out? Yeah. Because the cal tube is a lot thinner. So you don't need the gasket open so high. So 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 why? So the first notch is just for the cal tube. The first notch is just for the cal tube. And then pushing this all the way down in is for liner because you want to open up that gasket more. Yeah, all the way in. And you don't want to crank that down either. Uh, no, well, when, yeah, you can just lock it in. Yeah. Yep. So that's yeah, your main. Mm hmm. Because right. your liner, your thickness. Now, let me go through the back here real quick. Inside here, do you see there's a, there's a little plastic shim? We call those shims. You can unloosen this up and add more shims to open up the gasket more. So if you're using a thicker material and you feel like, hey, it's getting hung up here, then add more shims to it. You can add another two shims or whatever. And what all that's going to do is open up that gasket more. Okay? So those are shims. Alright, so you got your regulator here, your gauge. So when you hook up the compressor hose, this regulator is going to be set. So on this, we say do not exceed 30 psi. So you don't want to really set this up any higher than, you don't want to ever go up higher than 30 psi on this regulator. This regulator here tells you how much pressure you have in the system, plus if you have some tube out liner. It'll tell you your how much pressure you got total in this line. This is just only what you're introducing. Okay, and you don't want to exceed 30 on this. Um, you want to hook up that uh, compressor to that. Why not more than 30? Just if if we 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 got it to a point where if you need to use more than 30, then there's something else going on. Okay. Because 30 psi is a lot yeah. of pressure. Yeah, yeah. You know, and if you ain't getting a liner in a 30, there's something else going on. All right. There's something going on. You want to, you want to address something else, you know? Okay. 